Welcome back to Earth Plus, your ultimate source for all things wild and wonderful. Today we're shining a spotlight on zebras. Zebras have dazzled humans with their bold black and white stripes for over 4 million years. These wild horses actually originated in North America long before migrating to their current African home. Over epic generations trotting the grasslands, zebras evolve intricate patterns shielding against biting insects and avoiding predators. The earliest zebra ancestors emerged in America's woodlands over 50 million years ago during the Eocene period. They resembled tiny fox-sized horses with toenails instead of hooves back then. Over millions of years, equine feet evolved for running as grassy plains arose. Zebras belong to the horse family known as equus including wild asses and donkeys too tracing back millions of years. Around 2.5 million years ago during the Ice Age, ancient zebras began sporting two-tone coats. Pigment cells on their skin started clustering into concentrated spots intermixed with white hair. These spotted protozebras then ventured from North America into Eurasia crossing the narrow land bridge linking continents while pursuing lush vegetation. Unique subspecies gradually emerged across Africa, developing herds up to several dozen members. Each zebra type sports signature stripes running uniquely horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. But why stripes instead of camouflaging spots or solid blocks of color shading from brown and beige like antelope herds? Scientists propose several intriguing reasons why. One theory suggests patterns visually confuse predators like lions and hyenas trying to isolate vulnerable individuals against chaotic backdrops. Stripes may also discourage insects like tsetse flies transmitting diseases by disrupting how they navigate using polarized light sensed through their compound eyes. And stripes might help zebras regulate temperature by setting up miniature air currents along light and dark interfaces. Before we continue, like this video and subscribe to the channel so you are the first to know when a new video is out. Now, let's talk about how zebras also sport one exceptionally unusual feature setting them uniquely apart black skins covered in white fur. Unlike pale antelope hides, zebra skin is nearly all black beneath beautiful flowing white and beige hairs. This adaptation likely arose for contrast camouflaging zebras in glaring daylight when shadows and intense African sun rays break up their shape at a distance through shading effects along dazzling stripes. Fossil evidence confirms Eurasian zebras had migrated into East Africa by the Pleistocene era spanning 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago alongside human ancestors including Homo erectus. Herds clustered on plains and around water holes down the Nile Valley through modern Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania. Nomadic tribes subsisting on wild grains and mammal hunting relied on zebras as a vital food source supplementing nutrition for emerging societies. Ancient rock paintings vividly depict zebras alongside massive buffalo, elephants and ostriches in early human ritualistic cave art. Arrowheads and butchering tools mark early zebra hunting grounds where equus quagga were cornered and harvested for meat, milk, hides and bone tools by tribes like the Maasai and Sand starting over 70,000 years ago. These vanished subspecies had reddish rather than black hides beneath hair. By 600 BC during the Neolithic era when agriculture arose, zebras had achieved divine status in early Egyptian culture associated with wealth and status. Priesthoods adorned temples with ceremonial zebra skins and accessorized sacred altars with symbolic black and white striped horns representing balance and fortitude. More evidence of zebras providing sustenance exists going back at least 9,000 years. Greeks wrote of a mystical horned hippotigris beast and Romans called captive zebras hippotigris admiring exotic striped horses paraded through streets of imperial settlements in North Africa where wild herds still thrived just beyond colonies' fringes. Julius Caesar sent zebras racing down the Circus Maximus racetrack through Rome and vain emperors adorned villas with zebra-drawn chariots and ornate striped rugs showing off the empire's reach. By the Middle Ages around 1300 AD, zebras essentially vanished from North Africa as villages squeezed habitats. 
but great herds still dominated East Africa's savannas alongside giraffes, buffalo and big cats lions hunted for fierce strength and stamina exceeded only by hardened African rhinos. Vast grasslands nourished 10 million strong giant herds spanning modern Kenya and Tanzania. Their prodigious memory and keen senses detect predators at great distances even through dense grass obscuring sight. Later European exploration of Africa describes hunting zebras using smoke fires routing panic-stricken herds over cliffs or into stone corrals for harvesting, much like Native Americans hunting bison. European colonists pushed zebras from ancestral grazing grounds and drilled wells where mammoth migration herds once followed seasonal rains for water, decimating populations by over 90% from 1850 to 1900. Today, just two zebra species hang on mostly in preserves. Mankind's encroachment has shattered original super herds into isolated fragments totaling only around half a million animals vulnerable to rapid depletion and in breeding they are still at risk of extinction without active management. Stabilized populations now rely on guarded wildlife preserves and strict hunting bans for their survival. But efforts in South Africa pioneered safe techniques starting and relocating plains zebras to repopulate areas they were exterminated from generations ago. This kick-started return of migration patterns and local adaptation forming locally familiar herds. Responsible development reversing previous damage offers hope. Other species like endangered grevy zebras need similar interventions before the last glimpses of their spectacular striping vanish outside of children's books and the boundless African imagination. For all their prominence in African Genesis stories, without ongoing conservation work, school kids one day may only read myths of these legendary swift-striped horses who raced alongside our ancestors across ancient plains since before we even walked upright. Protecting Equus heritage is securing chances that humankind and wildlife might continue traversing the open grasslands side by side long into the future. As we wrap up this short history of zebras, we want to hear from you. Drop a comment below sharing the first time you saw a zebra or any fascinating wildlife moment. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more incredible content here on Earth Plus. Click on the next video to keep exploring the wonders of life on Earth or dive into our playlist for a stream of curiosity. Thanks for joining us on this video, and until next time, have a good day.